trash talking. Hey guys, I am back out here with another heating unit. Uh, somebody local saw my video and figured, hey, <laughs> time to get the guy on the job. So, we pulled this unit out. It's a much older unit. And it's a uh, 30K, I believe, 30,000 BTU. Pretty much the same. They don't change a lot. Now, this is the one we just redone. This one is a 2000 model, and we just put a new controller in it for the fan, so it's a time delay relay. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is this is a Klixon brand. Now, you can buy these, believe it or not, at Walmart. And I get this right here. There's your model numbers, and I'll put you links below the video on where to get these. Now, it does say 24 volt, but that doesn't really matter because it'll operate from 8 to 36. It's just 24 volt because that is the pass-through rating of this. So it'll handle 12 just fine and handle up to 9 amps, which this thing here only pulls 5. So what you're looking at here is you're looking at the two contacts down here at the bottom. Now, a lot of people don't figure out how to wire these. And here is the time delay relay here that's in one now, and you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a little crunchy. The plastic's kind of brittle in it. So what we're working with is we're working with here's power and here's ground. So these kind of work in a in a little differing way than the the general hookup on this one right here. It's a little bit different. So you have your fan motor here and you have your power here and you have your ground here and you're sending here so this should be your thermostat wire it's going to put power through go through the heating element down the bottom it's going to expand up make contact for these two points this is your power coming in from right here that's your power coming in and your your wire back here in the back which is this one runs up here up here to your switch your leaf switch which that's when your blower kicks on and then it sends power back uh, out, of, out of a short delay it'll first test for over temp through here and then back into the board where it will fire through the ignition into your furnace also turning on the gas valve which is that wire that wire right here so the way that these are wired uh, this one looks different but it's the same I know they look significantly different but they are the same and you have your thermostat and your ground goes through here, power on thermostat, and that activates that bottom heat element for the time delay. Same thing. So if you look at these, they're, all, they're the same. Now, this one is designed for a uh, different blower unit for like a Linux air conditioner heating unit. This one here is for a Goodman, but they'll all work the same. In this one's case here, you just use the bottom half. So you hook onto here and there, and then the two bottom, and you just leave the top alone. And don't worry about trying to pop that out there, rivet it in. But it would fit no different as, and you can use these too if you wanted to. Uh, so the plunger will push up. There's a little plunger in there and a bimetal disc. When the bimetal disc gets hot, it bows upward and makes contact. And then whenever your thermostat releases, which would be this wire here, release power to ground, it'll shrink back down and allow the contacts to be broken. And then your fan and everything will shut off. That's cool down cycle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get one of these put in. And right now, his is stuck to where um, it'll try, it, it'll just simply, the, the blower will just not turn off. It'll just blow and it will not give him any heat at all uh so this one here is operating intermittently every once in a while it'll kick on sometimes it won't and what it's doing is it's just pushing up enough but there's enough arc material in the contacts that it's the motor's doing like it's a like the motor's bad but it's actually not it's just getting low amperage through the contacts low voltage and amperage to the contacts so it's very broken up in there it's in just in bad shape so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that loose right quick 
and I'm going to stop holding this so you can see the picture here. The color of the wires and where they're going from. And you're going to look at this wire here. It goes to fan motor. This wire here. Yours will be identical. Suburbans and Atwoods. It'll be identical. And this one here will go all the way around and connect to this ground bridge right here. This terminals right in here on your on the chassis. So you have ground, you have fan, you have power that runs back to your inlet plug right here. And then over here you have the uh, uh, the thermostat wire. So in this one's case, if you look at the at the plug, the way the plug's designed, you see the blue and the red go together. So when the blue and the red go together, your thermostat will make contact and then it'll feed power back through this one. And that is this wire right here. So we're gonna hook up thermostat and ground to the bottom half of this right here, thermostat and ground. And then we're gonna hook power and the blower up to these two. So let me get that and you'll see exactly so. Pay attention to that picture, scroll back, roll back, pause if you have to. So you can get an idea how yours looks and how it will look after I'm hooked up here. All right, now, like I said previously, you could use this one or you can use this one. Since I bought these for about $9 a piece at Walmart.com, <laughs> I'll use these. And I'll drop you links to where four or five places are you can go get these at. And it doesn't matter if it's got one, two, three, four, five. You're just going to use the continuity. You're just, you're just going to use the switch across the lower one. And this is the final hookup on it. So... As you've seen, we removed the time delay relay from here. Now, the, the design of these is to kick it on, blow so the fan will blow the exhaust out, exhaust any propane residue left in there, any exhaust, before it attempts to fire up. And then it'll send signal after it's, the switch. will then run a time signal off of that chip right there that'll kick this relay that'll feed through your capacitors and charge that capacitor and send charge into this coil that'll fire your ignition. The thing is, is that most furnaces that are basically from about 98 on back have these. Um, just about all furnaces from about 90 on back have these. The Suburbans, the Atwoods, the Hydroflames, they'll have these in them. But you don't have to go spend 50 bucks for this or you don't have to go spend $50 for one of the dinosaurs or $30 for one of them. And they make another one that's about 45 bucks that's similar to this, but it's solid state. Personally, the Klixons, uh, K-L-I-X-O-N, they work impressively. They're very affordable. And I know it says 24 volt. The only difference is, is that the run cycle before fire up is just a few seconds less than if it was 24 volt. And in this something this small, it doesn't matter. Um, this one here is only nine to 10 seconds. This one here is about 15 seconds on 24 volt and about 12 seconds on 12 volt. So, I mean, it's not like it's a big deal. Um, more than sufficient for the amperage. Now, once I've got this hooked up, you can see in here, there is the thermostat wire. There is the ground wire, there is wire from power, and then there's the wire going back to the fan motor right in here, okay? So what you've achieved is you've achieved a replacement from modern parts or more adaptable parts. Now in this case, um, the original came with two screws, slip fit, and this one here I'm just looking at the little holes that are down here from the original screws. I'm just going to find one that's convenient and put one screw back in it. It will it will not go anywhere. It's not going to move. And it's per perfectly isolated right there as it sits. I could almost not even wire it. Not even, I could almost not even screw it down, but I'm going to. One of the things I recommend for people working on these is one of these very long 7-inch screwdriver bits that goes in here you get them at Lowe's or Home Depot's or whatever and let me put the screw into this thing here we're going to flip it over and put the valve back in it because I had to remove the valve to get it out of the box 
and we're going to put the valve back in it and we're going to fire it up see how fast and easy it goes so total job of this isn't uh, more than about 45 minutes uh, to get this out of your your rv you're just going to lift the box out now this is a down firing model and it has covers uh, for he's got little short vents going on it this unit right here uh, 30,000 BTU I believe is a uh, I think it's an 85 model I think 1985 model so they didn't change much as you can see except the single ignition to ground but this one here has dual ignition to ground one on the burner and one on the uh, two contacts to ground but the way that these work, they're, they're really simple. So other than the board itself, possible failure of this coil, lower wires burning out in it, or the transformer, you don't have a lot of problems with them. Now, I'll get that put in and show you how this works. Uh, and you can go back and look at my other video discussing on how to remove these. There's just a couple of screw holes that when this slides in, you'll see in the front, and I'll point them out when we get ready to fire it up, how to remove these and just slide them straight out and make sure you kind of work it with a screwdriver to get it out. Don't pry on anything related to gas lines or power. All right, so let's get this screwed down and I'll flip her over and fire it up. All right, now we've got it put back together. The, uh, the time delay relay is installed and I'm gonna show you the side of the board here you'll see a, a few functions on what it's going to do. Now, as I discussed, the power, uh, these are a positive only fire up, okay? So you got positive there, and you have positive here once you make the loop as if your thermostat is in line. Your thermostat makes the switch contact of these two points, and they only pull up about an amp. So I'm gonna put these together right quick. All right, and now the furnace has been activated. And you'll see the blower will come on here. It's on a delay. That bimetal material inside, inside of that, has to warm up to make the contact with them two points. So, let's go over here and the fire. It's about a 10 to 15 disconnecting the thermostat wire. The results are is that it immediately uh, kills the power to the board, which kills the power to the valves down there and closes the valve so that the gas is turned off. But as it sits now, we're running red, running hot. And the furnace is fully functional now. So we're going to do a shutdown test. Well, we're going to pull the wires loose. Y'all watch the flame when I pull the wires loose. And now it's in cool down cycle, so it's going to salvage the rest of the heat that's in your heat exchanger, blow it into your RV or tiny house or whatever you want to use one of these for. Until, and you see the light. flame light there went out so we have the flame off and I think that was about a 15 second run so you can probably check it on the on the video there uh, the next thing we're going to do is a standard fan and burn combustion chamber servicing which is means I will take that out and we will clean the contact points just using a standard brush um, do not bend them uh, the points the points that will be on this one here you want to make sure that the ground rod that's in the center, that that one is roughly an eighth of an inch from the ground rod where it's bent and pointed towards it. This one will go out into the fire above the burner for a secondary ignition and senses the heat coming back. So that right there is your basics. Um, not too hard to take the blower apart and oil this thing and make it work really well. And that's what we're going to do next. I do a full service on these. Always turn your gas off when not in use. And in my case, I have a big tanks out here. Disconnect power. 
which means pull its plug, and your furnace is dead, ready to work on. All right, guys, that's it. Not that complicated. So all you got to do is you get one of these. You have thermostat wire, ground, and doesn't matter which one because it's just a pass through on a switch. Then you have your fan and your power. So your power being your supply coming in, your red wire.